Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how I made this pop-up boxes pinwheel card. So this is basically like a square pinwheel card and I've just gone ahead and added on some pop-up boxes. So I've got one main one on the front and then two little ones on the side, space to write on the back, two on the other side and back to the front again. It folds flat, just fold it down like that, and it will fit in a 5x7 uh, card. Just tuck that foliage in. So yeah, so let's get into it. Oh, the idea as well, this came from, uh, before we get into it, this was from um, a mix between the uh, Mixed Up Crafts pinwheel card and then obviously just like pop-up box cards that I've seen that are inside cards, card folds, normal cards. So I thought I'd mix the two together. So yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so to make this card, you will need um, uh, the main base, the main centre of it, so the base card needs to be four and a half inches by five inches and you're going to score that at one inch, two inch, three inches and four inches. Okay, so that's what you're going to do with that and then we're just going to go ahead and fold that up. So that's the main centre of the card. So this is like your normal square pinwheel card. Okay, and so we're just going to put some red tape on the edge there. And then if we just turn it over, turn the flap and the tab over, so one side and the tab, and then fold the other one over, and then that makes your little centre column that all your flaps come off. Okay, so then you also need four flaps. Put that to one side. You need four flaps, and these flaps measure three and a half by five inches. Okay, so you need four of those. And then you also need four pattern um, pieces, and these measure three and a quarter by four and three quarters, okay? And they will go on there. But what we're going to do is we're going to stick these into place first, and then we can go and stick these down. You'll also need four pattern pieces that are two and a quarter by four and three quarter and these will go on the other side so where you're you've got your um like that and like that this is where those patterns go okay so i'm going to put what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these stick these flaps onto here first and then we'll start sticking the patterns on and then it'll also tell you what you need for the boxes Okay, so I've put tape on all four sides, as you can see. So I'm just going to peel off one of my pieces of backing. Well, one side. And then I'm going to take one of my flaps and we're going to line this edge up with that centre fold. Like that. And stick it down. Okay. And then I'm going to do the one next door and we're going to make sure that it does the same again so it goes off to the right. So we're just going to take the backing off, grab a flap and we're going to stick this in this corner here and line it up with that edge so it goes off to the right. I'm going to turn this over and we're going to do the same on this side. So again we're going to take a flap, take tape off one side. And I'm going to stick a flap on, making sure it goes off to the right. So notice how I turned my card over just then. I turned it over this way. I didn't turn it over that way. Okay. So just make sure that your flaps are always going off to the same side. Uh, if it helps to keep turning it round, then that's fine. But I'm going to leave my flap because I just find it a bit easier to stick it down this way. So that's going to go in there like that. So then when we open it up, so there's your pinwheel card. Okay, so that's that's why you had to keep making sure. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stick our patterns down. So this is the larger of the pattern, and that is going to go on there, and that's going to go on all four of those sides. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick those down. Okay. 
Okay, so I've done all of my pattern layers there. So now we want to go and put the pattern on here. So that is going to be those patterns. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick those down now. Okay, so there we go. So that's our square pinwheel. So if you wanted just to make a square pinwheel, this is obviously where you'd stop and you could add whatever you want to add on it. Um, I've also cut out a, a plain piece, which I shall use as a sentiment to write a sentiment on the back. And that measures two and a half by four. Okay, so that's going to go on the back. So I'm just going to pick a side now to be my back. I think this is going to be my back. This bit here is going to be my back side. So we're going to put... Um, I'm going to stick that down onto there. I could use the texture, but I'm not. I'm going to use the plain side because I don't really want to be writing on a bumpy piece of card. So I'm just going to stick this down. OK, so there we go with our... Let's do the back of my card. Right, so now we just need to go ahead and put the boxes in. OK, so for the little pop-up boxes that you need, uh, obviously you've got the big one on the front and the big one on the front measures two inches by seven inches and you're going to score that at three inches at three and a half and at six and a half okay so I'm just going to go ahead and burnish that and um, fold it and burnish it um, and as you will notice I have actually used the wood effect I'm not using the base and then layers because it's just it just takes too much time um i did originally think i was going to do that but i've changed my mind so that's what i've done with that um and then you also need two pieces that are one and a half by four and these are scored at one and a half two inches and three and a half inches okay You also need two pieces that are one and a half by four and a half. So we're going to go ahead um, and, and burnish these. These are scored at one and a half, two inches, three and a half and four inches. Okay, so we're going to start with the big box at the front first. So if you take your big box, open it up, your if you have your little half inch first on the left hand side and then your bigger piece on the right you're going to put tape on here and you're also going to put tape on here now if you want to put glue you can but i'm going to use tape this time around just because i don't want to be waiting for it to dry glue, um, glue is better in that you've got wiggle room but i kind of want this to stick straight away because of obviously doing it on the video uh, and normally I would just obviously wait for it to dry but I'm going to do this with tape because I just want it to stick straight away okay so once you've got your your box and it's taped like that so you've got one on that tab and one on the large bit I appreciate you can't see my score lines but that's where the score line is that's where the side is okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, card Make sure the back's obviously at the back, and this is the front. So I'm going to take my, my box, and I'm going to stick it at the bottom here, like that. So this edge marries up with the crease there. Okay, so that's that stuck down. So you can probably see where we're going with this. So now, if you just flip it over like that, and then what you want to do is just make sure that it, when you flip it that way round, it's not stuck on properly, but anyway, when you flip it that way round, that this happily sits in there. So what you want to do now is take the backing off of your tape, put it flat, flip it over, and just stick it down. And so then when you open it up, your little box should hopefully just pop up like that at the front okay and then we're obviously going to stick all the foliage and stuff coming out the front of it so that's your big box done um just to, so mine will not bend that way very well so i just need to make sure i mean you can go backwards and forwards a bit and just make sure it does actually 
kind of flatten. Okay, so then we're going to move on to the little two boxes on the other two sides. So for this, we need obviously our little boxes that we've done. You need one of the longer one and one of the shorter one. So the short one, the one that is only four inches long, is basically the same, a smaller version of what you've just done. So you just need to go ahead and add your tape again on the flap bit and also on the back piece. So this bit, miss that bit, miss that bit, and then tape on that, that side there. Okay, and so this is going to be the same again, but what you're going to do with this, you're going to mount it slightly higher up the wall, as it were. So we're going to take the, the back off. And then I'm going to just take my other piece, this one, I'm just going to lay it at the bottom, probably the, oh, actually how far up, about there probably. Um, and then I'm going to put this one, uh, put it approximately there I think really. I want to leave enough space for foliage at the top, but I don't want to go so high that it gets in the way. So like that, and then we're just going to peel the backing off that. Apologise for the motorcycle noises. Um, so now because I'm going to fold my card in the envelope like that, that's how it's going to be folded. So that, because that front bit tends to lie better like that, that is how I'm going to need to stick it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this over. So where before we actually just laid that in and shut it, we're actually going to pull this forward to that crease, fold that tab over and stick it down like that. Because then I know that's going to fold the right way in the envelope. Then we're going to take the next one and we're just going to put a tiny bit of tape on there and actually make it up into a box. Okay, so we've made it up into a little box. It's slightly bigger than the edge. I'm just going to trim that tiny bit of edge off there. There we go. Right. Now I'm going to put, I'm going to put it that way round because I've got my little tab bit there and I don't want to be able to see that from the front. So I'm actually going to turn it round so that it's um, that way round. Now these two boxes are the same. So what you want to do is that really wants to stick in there. So it really wants to stick in. So it's just the, the bottom corner here marries up with the top corner of that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to add tape again to this one. Now my box is more comfortable folding that way than it is folding that way, so I'm going to leave it that way, turn it over, it will need to fold that way anyway. I mean it can fold back if you want to, but I'm going to do it this way around. And so that is going to go, actually no, let's do it that way around. No, let's do it that way around. I'm confused, like that way like that. And then that goes on there like that. So that's going to pop up like that. Okay, so then you've got your little box. I suppose it would be better if it went that way, actually, because then they both pop up the same way. Like that, okay. So there's your little box. So you're going to do the same, the same thing on the other side, this bit here. So we're going to take the, um, the box that is the shortest box, put tape on the tab and on the end section. And then again, now what I'm going to quickly do, I'm just going to quickly um, measure how far up I put this one so I can kind of keep it the same. So it's about two inches up. Okay, so with it being two inches up, I'm going to measure up here and I'm going to do about the same. Maybe about there. So we're going to take our box, open it up. Obviously that's going to go about two inches up and make sure that it's level with the um, the edge there, make sure it's nice and straight like that. Peel your backing off the tab, fold the tab over and lay the whole thing flat because again that's how it's going to sit in the card. Okay so that's fine like that 
and then we're going to take this one and do the same again add the little tab the tape on the tab make it up into a little box and then we'll stick the box in Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and decorate it, add the foliage. Uh, I'm not too keen on this wood actually, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead, add the foliage in, decorate it, and I'll come back to you afterwards. Okay, so I finished it off. I just put some flowers on the big box there and a greeting, and then two smaller boxes there, obviously, and you've got your greeting at the back, and then two smaller at the side, and that's it, all finished. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And we'll see you next time. Bye.